love here. It's frightening. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight, uh, you all know, is the star of The Nanny, which can be seen each Wednesday at 8 o'clock on CBS. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one, the only, uh, Fran Drescher. Beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. I love the the Pippi Longstocking thing. This is thank cool. Thank Well, no, this would be Pippi Longstocking. If it went out, okay. If it went out, if I had wire in it or something like that. What is that right there? That's the cute. <laughs> you bet it is. It's very nice. You're the friendly milkmaid, mm. right? I'll be as friendly as you need me to be. Mm. <laughs> the show is over as of now. <laughs> and I will be leaving. Uh, congratulations are in order. Big episode coming up for you. I know. I'm finally getting married on The Nanny. Yeah. You're getting married on the show. Is it's it very exciting. Does it feel like you're really getting married? It was totally like I was really getting married. I mean, for weeks I didn't have dessert because I, I said, I can't order dessert. I'm getting married. And picking out all the colors and the flowers and everything. I flew my parents up from Florida and they're in the wedding. Oh, really? The real parents? speaking parts. They were the only atmosphere people that actually ate the props. <laughs> it's like the poor prop man had to keep refilling their reception dinner plate. Uh -huh. Can we have some more gravy on our dish? Now, were you, were you trying as hard as you could? Just I, I'm always confused why women do that. They want to lose weight for the wedding dress. Is that the idea? Well, you know, I didn't. I, you know, I mean, we tape. It's one day. We tape on the one day, just like you get married on one day, and you want to be in good shape, and you don't want to be bloated, and you don't want to. I don't know. I mean, you know, I was just. I was, uh, I was nervous. That I tradition should to... change for women, don't you think? Really? They should encourage women to Listen, get as heavy as they can. Listen, if we're going to be changing traditions... Seriously, women should just, like, be chowing down for weeks beforehand to see how fat they can be on their wedding day. <laughs> they do have that in, like, some Samoan cultures, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go there, But, then. you know, if we're going to try and rewrite anything, I would say, you know, shaving would be the first thing we, we should try and, you know, eliminate. What? Oh, you like a clean... A woman then artificially... Hello, what? I, what uh, what's what's going on? Well, no, I, you know, I'd what are face. Well, no, I know. I'd rather be thin for the wedding, but, you know, not have to shave my whole body. Oh. Uh, the legs? You shaved your legs, right? I do shave my legs. Okay. The legs, the bikini line, the pits, you name it. Oh. <laughs> Can't we call it something other than the pits? <laughs> <laughs> The recessed shoulder region. <laughs> oh, okay. The pits. I don't know. It just doesn't sound right to me. You know, we had a funny thing happen here. Someone who uh, works on our show went to a Jewish wedding about a week ago, and in the middle of the ceremony, the rabbi stopped the ceremony and said, by the way, I want you all to watch The Nanny this coming week because I'm going to be on it as the rabbi. Uh, and everyone was like, what? Saying... This guy is like, He's you a real know, rabbi. wants to be such a star. He married my sister to her husband. The gal that plays uh, Val on the show, Rich is the girl, she got married with him, and her brother got married. In real life. casting director got married. And so I'm at, uh, my, uh, my sister just had her second baby, and this guy, like, gave each kid their Hebrew name. So, you know, at the last uh, thing, when, when my, uh, you know, my niece was just born three months ago, Right after I was at this affair, the casting director on the show that he married gets a call from his agent that he wants to be the one that marries us on the, the rabbi show. The rabbi has an agent? Yeah. <laughs> that just blows my mind. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's telling everybody, but really, we cut his part down a little bit. <laughs> Well, he's plugging so. it. He stopped at, like, a sacred religious ceremony to <laughs> plug your show. I know. I know. That's really embarrassing. I mean, he better watch it or he's not going to get the gigs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's calling them gigs now. Yeah. That's a scary thing. Well, I got a good gig. I... Uh, <laughs> that's how rabbis talk. <laughs> it's good and hoit. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's my Jackie Mason. That's all purpose. Uh, we got to take a quick uh, commercial break. Okay. I'll learn a better impression uh, when we come back more with Fran Drescher, so stick around. Everybody, we're back. I'm sitting here with Fran Drescher, and 
Mother's Day was just the other day. Did you hang out with uh, with your family, with your yes, mom? Yes, yes. We were all here in in uh, New York because uh, my parents are up here. They just shot the Rosie O'Donnell show. You know, they they're do. regular they, people. They, yes, yes. I mean, they were for a while. She wasn't calling them, and then I, I, and when I did the Rosie show, I said, you know, you gotta call them. She says, well, they're always busy. They always turn me down because you're taking them on a cruise or you're doing this or that. And I said, you know, I yelled at them about that because they really, uh, you know, uh, it came too easy for them, the success on the Rosie O'Donnell show. So right. now they're gone. So they went to Las Vegas for a buffet thing to uh, review the buffets there. Okay. And now they're going to go on a cruise to lose with Richard Simmons. <laughs> and so they're really punishment of some kind? <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> You know, it's a barometer for how successful I am by how famous my parents are becoming. <laughs> I would think so, yeah. And we all got together for Mother's Day, and it was quite quite a crowd. I mean, I don't know whether you ever go to restaurants on Mother's Day, but every like every couple of years, I happen to be in. We all happen to be in the same city at the same time, and so we go out together. And uh, you know, it was like a zoo. And they ran out of the food that my grandmother ordered, and it was like she's got a very limited diet. She wanted the steak. They ran out of the steak. My mother's like standing up. Don't you have one steak? For my mother, it's like everybody's got their mother there. Right. And it's like, but my mother. And uh, I'm saying to Yana, well, what about the chicken? No, I'm not into chicken. What about the lamb steak? I, I like a lamb chop, not a lamb steak. Here, there's something that you're really going to love. Lobster eggs Benedict. And she says to me, I don't like lobster eggs. So, <laughs> I said, bring me the wine and hurry. <laughs> A big bucket of wine. Oh, totally. By the time I left, I was sloshed and feeling no pain. <laughs> An important message for the kids. Uh, <laughs> speaking of the kids, um, you're, uh, you've got this new MTV project. What, what yes, is this project? I, well, you know, I was on a publicity tour for The Nanny, and there I was in Minneapolis, and I woke up in the middle of the night, I couldn't sleep, and suddenly this whole world came to me about these two 20-year-old guys, 22-year-old guys. It's like a coming-of-age show, and MTV is going to do it. So I'm starting casting on it, which is really exciting. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, if I had to write something, I might as well write for two cute 22-year-old guys. This way, it makes casting so much more interesting, you know? Well, what are you actually doing in the casting sessions? Are you... Oh, you know, I mean, I'll have them walk in, I'll... Ask them a question or two, take your shirt off, turn around, you know. It's very professional, really, but you know, hey, if I, you know, since it's a job, somebody's going to do it. I'm going to go to When the rabbi... Honey, you want the job or not, take your damn shirt off. <laughs> That's terrible. I was going to say, when the rabbi's agent gets wind of this, <laughs> the rabbi should be in there. Uh, you know, you, every time you're on the show, you're talking about, you go out, and you're promoting the nanny somewhere, and celebrities are always involved in the story. You like celebrities. You, you know, you enjoy meeting them. Are there any that you're completely in awe of? Are there any that, that you were really dying to meet and you got to meet recently? Um, I don't know, you know, uh, sometimes, I don't know. Me aside, you know. <laughs> You know, anyone, because uh, you, you go to all these big movie premieres and things like that. Did you get to meet anybody who was just like a huge superstar? You know, I met Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, you met and him? I've actually run into him at a couple of parties, and I've danced with him uh, once at a party, and so I felt like I could go up and say hello to him when I saw him at the Titanic premiere. And, uh, you know, there he was, and I said, Leo, Leo, God, you know, you've been so great in the movie, you really rule. And suddenly the photographer saw the two of us together, and, you know, he's like, I mean, you were saying, he's so hot, there's, uh, you know, there's... Uh, what they, was they I saying, Leo enough. is hot? <laughs> Let's not make up conversation that never happened. <laughs> you know, that night I ran into you at Wig, wig Sock. <laughs> ended up to be a big full-page picture of us in People magazine, and I'm like, no dope. I work those uh, <laughs> events. <laughs> you grabbed him, right? Uh, totally. I mean, then the paparazzi really liked it, and it's like, uh, uh. he said, wait, I got something in my eye. Uh, there's nothing in your eye, honey. Come on, they want to take a picture of us. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. Huh? Uh, well, the nanny, season finale tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. And it's on for one hour, so it's a really great episode, and there's an unbelievable cliffhanger. Oh, Absolute. really? Yeah. Basically, I don't get laid until the sixth season. Oh!
Well, then stay tuned. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Fran Drescher, everybody. Watch that show. 8 o'clock p.m. CBS. Joe Rogan's coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.